In this video, I'm going to show how to um, format your paper to MLA format um, with the new Microsoft program. Uh, first thing that you'll notice, though, is by default, the, the program has actually Calibri as your, your initial font. We're, not, we're going to actually have to change it twice, and I'll show you how. First thing we'll work on, then, is the header. Um, in MLA format, you always have a, a header. And the way that you access that in the new Microsoft Word program is to double click in the header. And um, mine was set up so that the cursor was live over here, but actually, um, originally it was live over here, but then if you need to move it to the right, you just hit the Home tab, and then you can write Justify it there. So the next thing on the agenda is to type your last name. Um, so I'm going to actually type my last name. And I forgot to do something right away. We need to change this to Times New Roman. So I changed that to Times New Roman, and we're going to change the font size to 12. So now I type my last name, and then I hit the space bar one time. And then in order to put the page number right here, um, do not type the number. What you should actually do is click on the Insert tab. And then what you'll notice is on the Insert tab, there is a header and footer buttons here. And what we're going to do is hit Page Number. And there's a few options for us. We want it to actually be in what is called current page, current position. So I'm going to click on current position, and I want it to just be a plain number rather than something fancy. And the header is now set up. So we're done setting up the header. The next thing that we need to set up then is the heading in MLA format. This is actually going to take place in the body of the essay. So I just want to distinguish this up here is the header, but down here is the actual um, body of the first section of the paper. So the first thing you're obviously going to do then is type your first and last name. So uh, we forgot something here though. We have to change this to Times New Roman, and we want to change it to 12 point font. So I'm going to type uh, my first and last name. And if you notice, this is already double spaced. Um, as it should be, but like just in case you need to do spacing, you can you just click on the paragraph button here, and notice it already says multiple. I'm going to actually fix that. I'm going to hit the back, and I'm going to hit paragraph, and we're going to hit double spacing, and we're going to click OK. Um, so now that it's double spaced, the second thing that you've got to put in your heading, according to MLA format is the name of your teacher. So I'm actually just going to type name of your teacher. Um, so I hit enter one time. And the next piece of information is the title of the class. So I'm just going to name it English uh, 10 period 1, uh, just to pretend that it's my first period English class. And then following the MLA style guide, um, the last thing should be then the date. So today's date is, and it's in this format, you got to do, do the day number. So today's date is 23 um, July, and 2013 is the year. So that's our heading right there that I'm highlighting. The next piece of information that we're going to need then is the title of the paper. Now, I'm not actually writing a full-fledged paper, but notice that I, and it's got to be centered, just in case you missed the step. The next line then should be centered and it should be the title of the paper. And if you look at Online Writing Lab, there's no um, fancy thing to the title of the paper. It's just right there. I hit the Enter key one more time, and now that takes me to the next line, and it's still centered. We actually want to move it back to being uh, left aligned. Now, there are some things that you can do then for the, the actual paragraphs in the paper. Um, you can do what is called um, uh, an indent um, where the first line of each one is indented or a hanging. Hanging is going to be for the references page and I'll show you what that is. So for right now we're just going to do first line and we hit OK and the next thing you know is let's say I'm writing sentences but I'm gonna actually just put in some random text so that I can fill up time and space and what you'll notice is every line after the first is the first line is indented and every line after that is not. So let's just pretend that I wrote my entire essay, and those would represent paragraphs. The next thing that you would do then is come back to paragraph, and you would take off 
the first line, you're going to go none and hit OK. The next thing that we need to do is, after you finish writing the essay, you will need a page break. You'll need a page break because um, you're going to do your references page separate. So we're going to go to insert, and what you'll see is there's a whole bunch of buttons. The one we want to do is called page break. So I click on page break, and what you notice is down here the cursor jumped all the way down to the next page. So we've got our essay up here, and if I scroll back down, you will see that the next page starts here. Now, um, according to the MLA format style guide, what you'll notice, too, is like here's the, the opening page in the section heading. Um, if we go back to look at the references page, um, you'll be able to see, and um, here's their generic um, version, um, Long story short, you're going to have all of your references uh, ready to go, and what should be um, shown on the last page at, on your document is what you're going to do is you're going to hit Home and Center, and you're going to go Works Cited, and we're going to go there. And then we hit Enter one time, and then we'll Left Justify. And then this is the point at which then our actual references um, would start. And what I recommend doing is to pre-format it. You just click on um, Paragraph. And this one for the special indentation, we're going to do Hanging Indentation. Um, so then from here on, if we had an article handy, um, we would actually cite it in MLA format. And we'll just use one of theirs that's already ready to go. So if I, I'm going to pick a periodical, because that's what we most commonly use. And this is the article that they're going to use in MLA format. And I'm going to paste. And I want to keep text only. And that's what you would see, and you'd actually put this into um, alphabetical order, your references list, your works cited list. So that's how you format your paper to MLA format. It's actually pretty simple, and, and um, I'm going to upload, uh, when I post this, I'm going to put a hyperlink to this prefabricated template. I hope this was uh, informative and insightful.